salutations my dearest friends my name is Samantha and today I'm going to be talking about Omegaverse books that are a little bit more sweet not a lot of trigger warnings a really good start if you are new to this particular subgenre I'm just going to be talking all about Omegaverse today How are you? Welcome or welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Trope Week. If you didn't know, I am posting a video every single day where I pick a specific book trope and give you guys a recommendation. Today's going to be uh, hopefully a little bit of a shorter video. Hopefully I don't talk too much, but I'm going to be talking all about Omegaverse. If you don't know what Omegaverse is, it's amazing. You're in for a treat. I have been talking about it nonstop on my channel because I'm a little bit obsessed. I have a few videos on it already. I did a dedicated video where I talk about Omegaverse and what it is and what the entire subgenre is. So I will link that down below for you if you are interested. Omegaverse, if you are unfamiliar with it, it is very similar to werewolf shifters, paranormal romances where you have an alpha and an omega. Lots of like faded mates and bonding and mating and all of that but make it a little bit more intense that's kind of the way I explain Omegaverse and I feel like Omegaverse mainly started in fan fiction and then kind of breached its way into the romance subgenre and I think it's just so much fun I don't know what it is about faded mates and like primal instincts that just get to me but I really enjoy this subgenre. However, this subgenre is vast and there's so many little tropes within it. And a lot of them can be a little bit darker because of the hierarchy of like an alpha and omega. Usually an alpha is at like the top of the food chain and omega is not at the top of the food chain. Because of that, a lot of Omega verses tend to be a little bit darker when it comes to romances. So whenever I recommend it, a lot of people ask me for Omega verse recommendations that are sweet, that don't have trigger warnings. And I'm here to deliver my friends. I'm babbling. I'm going to pull up my notes so we can talk about these books. I only have like four to five recommendations. The first two books are part of a series and I love this series so much and that is the Moonstar Dating Agency series by Ash Moon. The first book I'm going to talk about, I've talked about so much on my channel, it's called Fist Fangs Rival Omega and this again is by Ash Moon. Kind of an enemy silver's romance. It does take place in an Omegaverse setting but does have M pregnant. If you don't know what that is, it's basically in this universe male alphas can get male omegas pregnant. It follows our characters Desmond and Chasen they are rivals because they are both professional fighters fighting for like the same title. Man one of our main characters he is an Omega and he is the only Omega in this fighting ring so he really feels like he has to prove himself and he ends up kind of butting heads with Chasen. They end up training together and that's how they spend even more time together but what this book really focuses on is faded mates. So there's like this dating agency that can find your true soulmate by reading like the stars and it's this whole spiel right they can find your true faded mate and Desmond hasn't really had the best luck in love so he goes to the dating agency to find his faded mate and lo and behold Chasen becomes a part of his life and it follows their romance and it is so perfect like it is the perfect enemy to lovers romance in my opinion because the banter is amazing there's really no trigger warnings I feel like both of our characters are so evenly matched in this book and I love it the second book I want to talk about is the last book in that series so we're kind of skipping ahead but you can read them completely out of order and that is let me find your omega this one it features Cole and Marcos and oh my god I love this book so much it is literally both of our characters are both cinnamon rolls and it's just the cutest romance so Cole is actually the owner of this divination agency that finds your true faded mate he helps everyone find faded mates he ends up having a romance with Marcos who is a single dad and just recently moved into the neighborhood and it is so cute. Marcos's daughter is like really into prophecies and like telling people who their faded mates are. When Cole was younger, someone did a prophecy that he would not be able to find his faded mate if he wanted to tap into his entire like power. They're like fighting the attraction for each other, but honestly, 
it's just so sweet like this is the cutest single dad romance ever both of our heroes are cinnamon rolls there's really no trigger warnings it's just adorable steamy and a wonderful omega verse the next one is a more recent read and i'm not sure if i've talked about it on my channel i don't think i have it's a novella on kindle unlimited and it is called heat haven by sarah blue this is the first book in the heat haven omega verse series basically there's like this agency that omegas can go to where basically they can have like an alpha for hire so in omega verse omegas go through this thing called heat where for an extended period of time they really crave like sexual intimacy and really need to be taken care of by an uh, alpha I don't know why I'm like stuttering all over this video. I'm so sorry. It's very late. She goes to this agency to find herself an alpha and she ends up finding an alpha, our hero Griffin, and they get stuck in an elevator together and some steamy fun times happen and it is wonderfully fun. And this is a reverse harem. No one does have more than one love interest. She has multiple alphas that kind of help her through her heat. Loved this book so much. It was a nice, short, steamy novella that was just like Perfect. Another novella that is a sweeter Omega verse is Online Heat by Hannah Hayes. This is a part of a series, but you can read it out of order. This takes place during the pandemic, and I never thought I would be recommending a pandemic book, but here we are. This follows Maya and Max. This is an office romance, kind of. So our heroine is in the midst of the pandemic and she is working from home and she does a lot of Zoom meetings with her box, Max, that she has a crush on. And our heroine is an Omega and our hero is an Alpha. And during the pandemic, our heroine goes through her heat, but because she is in quarantine, she doesn't have an Alpha to, you know, really help her through that. So um, she calls up her boss and he helps her out over the phone and it is so steamy you do end up meeting in person but a lot of it is like facetime and phone calls and steamy times and it's a short quick novella really no trigger warnings i really liked this one next series i want to talk about is the sweet first series by katherine moon and co-write this series so usually she writes a book and then her co-author i think her co-author is lana cole i can't remember the name i'm so sorry i'll put it on the screen but they go back and forth between writing in this series and it is called the sweet verse series which basically basically means it's a sweeter Omega verse series. Out of all the books though, this does have a couple of trigger warnings for sexual assault. I will say read the Goodreads reviews, especially if you start with Lola and the Millionaires, which is like everybody's favorite book in the series. But none of those interactions happened between our main couple. It's usually like external conflicts that cause the trigger warnings, if that makes sense. So I'm still going to include this in one. Talk about the first book in this series. This is a very long series and I have read pretty much every book in it and I highly recommend them. But I'm going to talk about the first book and that is Baby and the Late Night Howlers. And it is my favorite. It follows our main character, Baby. And yes, our main character's name is Baby. But this follows Baby who discovers that she is an Omega at kind of an older age and it's very unexpected. She's in a crowded bar surrounded by alphas and she ends up getting saved by a beta who takes her to like a safe haven for omegas and there she decides to find her pack this is a reverse harem meaning our heroine has more than one love interest in fact she has many love interests so finding a pack of alphas that are in a motorcycle gang and she kind of explores the attraction she feels towards them there are 12 alphas in this motorcycle gang Six of them she is romantically involved with and the other six is more like a family bond. But like I said, it is a reverse harem and it is wonderful because it's told in so many different point of views. You get all of the characters, you know, really unique personalities and point of views and I just loved this one. The twist to this book is there's a rival motorcycle gang that is stealing Omegas and that's kind of where the trigger warnings come in a little bit because there is like an external plot of this evil rival motorcycle gang. But honestly, I just love the idea of like these gruff buff motorcyclists like absolutely fawning over and worshiping our little tiny heroine who's an omega and i just i love it i love this book so much i highly recommend it okay, so those were the books that i wanted to recommend i know this was like a quicker video and it was kind of all over the place my dog was barking i was stuttering it's late I just, whatever. Okay, it's more of a ch casual chill video, but I hope this gave some guidance to those of you who wanted like sweeter Omegaverse books or are new to the subgenre. If you guys are looking for another author to check out on Kindle Unlimited that writes really sweet Omegaverse books, I would recommend Laura Lee M. Hart. She writes a lot of Omegaverse books. I've read a lot of her Christmas ones that I thoroughly enjoyed, so I'm gonna throw in her recommendation as well.
Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you so much for taking time out of your day to spend time with me. I hope you guys are all staying happy and healthy, and I will see you in tomorrow's video, which is the last video for Trope Week. And tomorrow we're going to be talking about some novellas that I loved and I think are grossly underrated. So, if you're excited for that video, give this one a thumbs up, and I will see you tomorrow. Okay, bye! That was like the longest outro ever. I hope you guys are having a great day. Goodbye.